afternoon, everyone. It's so great to see you today. I am so excited for story time. It is fully one of our favorites. And I thought it would be the perfect book to round out our teacher appreciation week. So to all my Python staff members, teachers, um, especially that um, I get to work with every day when we're in session, um, that I get to have great conversations with, we come up with great tools for you guys to use. Um, I am just super appreciative of you um, and everything you do for our school. You know, pythons, you know, we get in the pit and we make it happen, right? So um, thank you from all of us since, you know, I do run leadership um, from our leadership team to you. And as we represent all of our students in leadership, thank you for being who you are, for being a Python, and for bringing everything amazing to the table. We really appreciate you. Um, and so for Teacher Appreciation Week, like I've been saying, we chose a steampunk theme, all made up by the leadership team. I had nothing to do with that idea, um, but it was a great idea. Uh, today's theme is thank you for being the key to unlock our future, okay? And in school, really, it's the beginning of you unlocking your future, of course. Um, but that's when you start to learn things and figure out who you are and where you want to go in your life. And, you know, it seems like a far, far time away before you're an adult, but it's really not. So um, enjoy your childhood, but also keep in mind, where do I want to go? What does my future hold? You know, just it's up to everybody individually, and it's a great journey, so enjoy it, really. Um, Anyway, part of steampunk um, is talking about invention. Robots are an invention, and so I thought I would read Robo Sauce today. Like I said, it's one of our favorites by one or two of our favorite duos, Adam Rubin and Daniel Salmiri, who brought us Dragons Love Tacos 1 and 2, and a few other books. El Chupacabras is another one that they did. And I know there's a couple more, but I'm not remembering right now, but that's okay. Look them up. You can see all the books that they've read. Adam Rubin, R-U-B-I-N. You can look him up and see all his books, all right? So to close out Teacher Appreciation Week, um, I and the leadership team decided to send out a little gift to your teachers. And so we sent them this key. Well, all of them were a little bit different, and I kind of tried to pair them with their personalities as best I could. But... Um, and it said that has a paper attached to it that says, thank you for being the key to our future. And we mean that without teachers. Um, you may not know all the things you can do and you may not have the guidance you need to make great choices all the time, you know? And so we, we want to thank them for that. Robo sauce. This one has to be dedicated to Room 27 uh, because it's one of their favorites. We always have a great time with this book, and they, they ask me to read it at least two or three times a year. So um, here we go. This one's for you, Room 27. Robo Sauce by Adam Rubin and Daniel Selmiri. Warning, this book turns into a robot. And if you're not a python, you may not have heard of this book. So I hope you enjoy. All right, here we go. For story time, I need watching eyes, listening ears, calm bodies, breathe in, breathe out. And of course, no nose picking, no finger licking. We need to have clean hands to touch our books. There we go, friends. All right. And this guy always starts his books the same, I swear. With, hey, kid, sweet robo costume, perfect for whomping on squishy little humans like you. <laughs> And his robo dog. Robo poke, robo grab, robo stomp. Where did everybody go? Don't they know how much fun it is to play robot? But friends, do these people like those things? Does his family like that? No, that's not very kind, right? If you were a real robot, everyone would want to play with you all the time. Real robots have lasers for eyes, rockets for feet, and supercomputers for brains. People love that. Plus, robots never have to eat steamed beans or take baths or go to bed. If only there were some sort of magical robo sauce that turned you into a giant awesome robot. If only you could make it from common household ingredients. If only I knew the top secret formula. Well, guess what? There is. You can. I do. Hmm. Boom, here's the top secret formula for robo sauce. Here we go. Four cups plastico powder, 12 volts gl gluten-free cucamonga flakes, 
14 baroni balls, scrubbed, one pint electric boogaloo, four cups tumbleberries peeled and smashed, a sprig of spork and furfle, and a pinch of magnetuda. Combine ingredients in a large bowl and stir vigor vigorously. This is what it looks like when you're done. Careful now, just hold your nose and gulp down a single spoonful. Here we go. That's strange. Nothing happened. Try another spoonful. Maybe a few more. Gump, gump, gump. Hmm, maybe you have to pour it all over your body to get it to work. Jeez, I really thought that would do the trick. Gosh, I'm real sorry about this. I am sorry, I swear. He's not very happy though, is he, with me? No. Flash bang boom! <laughs> you know that sound. <laughs> Jumpin' Jingleheimer Schmidt! Oh, whoop! Jumpin' Jingleheimer Schmidt! It worked! I mean, of course it worked. Hey, Robo Kid, check out your sweet blinking lights and sparkling antennas. Listen to those beautiful beeps and boops. Now you can do all the cool stuff you never got to do when you were busy not being a robot. What? Activate Robo Rocket Blast. Activate Robo Laser Blast. Activate Robo Tornado. What? He's destroying the place. Where'd everybody go? Don't they know how much fun it is to go on a rampage? Well, it's a bit more fun for the giant robot than it is for the squishy little humans like you. I guess it makes sense. People who don't, people don't want to play if they don't have a chance to win. Is that true? Do you like to play a game if you don't have a chance to win? No, of course not. Who likes that? Poor Robo Kid, you're too big to sleep in your bed. Your friends are all scared of you. And if you try to hug your parents, you'll smash them to smithereens. Lucky for you, I've got a recipe for Robo Antidoto that will change everything back to normal. See, here's my antidote. <laughs> hey! That was my only copy! What are we gonna do now? Oh! Activate Robo Sauce Launcher. Robo sauce launcher? What the heck is that? Flash bang boom! Who'd he get? Yeah, he got his family! Oh, come on. That's not cool. You're totally messing up my story here. You're supposed to realize that you miss being a human. Doing homework, brushing your teeth. Okay, never mind. Those are bad examples. What about your dog? Won't you miss your poor little dog? Flash bang boom! <laughs> oh great. <laughs> Activate Robo House. Activate Robo Friends. Activate Robo Food. So that's what we're doing now? We're turning everything into robots? What kind of story is that? Flash bang boom! Activate Robo Story. Flash bang boom! Robo book. Delta Bell Android Robot. Images by Samatron. Bell Thousand. Oh my gosh. Beep boop beep boop 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 beep boop boop beep boop. What? You don't speak robot? Ah! Activate robo domination. The end is near. Ah! Ah! Let's all pretend. <laughs> the end. And that is the end of the story, my friends. Oh, Robo Sauce is a silly, silly, silly little book. Oh, I love it. And I actually do let people check out this book. Well, not this book. This is my copy um, that I keep nice and safe because this page gets a little bent in the books I let check out. But people do get to check these out in our Python library. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed Robo Sauce. It's one of my faves. I know I say that so often, but Adam Rubin and Daniel Selmeri, they are a duo to be reckoned with, my friends. They write great books and illustrate them fantastically. So, um, anyway, 
I hope you loved it. I hope you enjoyed Teacher Appreciation Week. Don't forget, I do have um, Art From Afar coming up at 4 o'clock on Instagram. And as always, um, there's going to be a challenge today, too, on Instagram. If you don't follow us, follow us at Pile Pythons on Instagram. Um, you can always tag us, hashtag us, that is, um, at Python Strong, Parker Stories, or your parents, your grown-ups can uh, join our Pile Elementary FUSD group on Facebook to share what you're doing at home. And if you did anything with Teacher Appreciation Week, I would love to see. Until next time, I am Miss Parker with Parker's House of Stories, and I will see you guys later. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye!